Hey, all you kids watching, aren't these little cheesecakes gross? They're like totally burnt, right? Black, nobody in their right mind would want these. Yeah, those look gross. Yeah, okay, bye. Go find out what's on the TikTok. Okay, are they all gone? Good, now adults, this is our little secret. These burnt Basque mini cheesecakes might look burnt, but they're just caramelized on top. And we're bringing a bit of holiday spirit to these cheesecakes by adding a little eggnog flavor. Did I mention they're sugar-free as well? You'll see how easy they are to make too, coming right up. Simple ingredient list here. You know we like to keep it simple and we like to keep it clean on Dad's dishes. All the amounts are in the description down below. Block of cream cheese. Instead of sugar, we're using, yes, my favorite zero calorie and lower in carb sweetener, monk fruit. I'll put a link in the description down below to where you can buy monk fruit on Amazon if you don't have it at your local store. We'll also need one egg yolk, two full eggs, some eggnog, you can see how to make sugar-free eggnog by clicking on the i card. And if you don't have any eggnog, don't worry, you can use heavy whipping cream. Also, a touch of cake flour and a little bit of nutmeg and vanilla essence. Start out by blending the cream cheese and the monk fruit sweetener together well with a spatula. Then add your egg yolk and two eggs and mix together well. While we're waiting for that, let's pass the time with a Christmas joke. My wife told me that for Christmas she loved nothing more than a diamond necklace. So, I got her nothing. Thank you to the Dad Jokes app, available on Android. I'll put a link down in the description below. After your eggs are blended, mix your other ingredients in one at a time, vanilla, followed by the eggnog or whipping cream. If you have the homemade eggnog from my other recipe, it's not important that you include the foam. Then the cake flour, and if you do not have eggnog and you're using whipping cream, now would be the time to add the nutmeg in order to get that wonderful eggnoggy taste. Next, you'll pour the batter into seven or possibly eight muffin cups, and you want to line these with parchment paper. If you can find parchment paper muffin papers, those are great. If not, just cut a large square of parchment paper, crumble it into a ball, and then re-fold it out into the muffin cup. And you definitely want it to be large enough so that there's a bit of overhang because you're going to be filling these cups to the brim. There's no rising happening here. This is not like regular muffins where you fill it three quarters of the way full and it rises. It will stay pretty much at that level. Then you're going to bake in the oven for 30 minutes at 240 degrees Celsius or 464 Fahrenheit. For simplicity's sake, let's just call it that number in between 450 and 475 on your oven dial. When they're done, the tops will be medium or dark brown and you want to let them cool completely. But for the best taste, you want to put them in the fridge for four more hours before you eat them to let that cream cheese recongeal. So, trusty assistant, did you try the burnt Basque cheesecakes? No way, man! <laughs> My plan worked to perfection. Trusty assistant, do you have something you'd like to tell our viewers? Yes, I have some steps for you. One, like this video. Two, subscribe to Dad's Dishes and put the notifications on all. And three, share this video with everyone you know. And four, comment down below in the comment se section. Bye. And for my sugar-free keto-friendly eggnog recipe, click over here on the box to the left. Happy holidays.